Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Eric from the MMG here. We are always looking to add new members. Make sure you join our Discord. Link is in the description below for our website. Discord is linked on there. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because we're going to get right into this and get started. We are checking out Outpath First Journey. This game appeals to me because it is a base building crafting clicker, which is two genres that I enjoy. I do like the clicker games occasionally. Um, I only do like a couple a year though. Like They do kind of burn me out. But I have never seen one that kind of had the whole crafting and base building aspect of it. So I'm very interested in this game. And it's free. So make sure you check it out. This is the prologue. The chapter, it's the first journey. Is the, it's the prologue of the main game, um, which isn't quite out yet. But you can play this for free right now on Steam. So we're going to jump into it and check it out. All right. Don't want to forget this. To mention this video is sponsored by Indie Boost and the developers and publishers of this game. We are ready to jump into this. Um, it starts out wanting you to gather some resources. That's where the clicker part comes in. And you can see I can hit E or uh, click to break it. It shows me how many hits it takes to break. And then I get some wood. It had me collect some fiber and wood first. Now it says let's build a workbench now. Let's take a look at that real quick. And then I'll uh, cut out and cut back in whenever anything happens that's interesting. I like to keep these reviews short and sweet to save your time. So here's the workbench. Looks like we need some fiber still. So let's find some fiber, beat some bushes, beat some flowers, whatever it takes. Oh, coal. Look at that. Okay. What is this? Copper? Okay, wait, we're going to hold off on that. I need, I need fiber, guys. Fiber, come on. There's some grass. That's got to be fiber, right? There we go. All right. All right, first workbench. I think this is going to be home for it right here. Let's go ahead and get that built. Oh, it came up quick. Uh, let's see. Here is our workbench. There we go. Flint, sand, mashed berries, flint axe, flint pickaxe, flint sword, and flint shovel. Pretty common stuff. All right, we'll be back when something else happens here. All right, just to cut back in, I want to mention that you can pretty much move around this island as you want, and you just hold the space bar to climb right up. There's really nothing you can't get up. You can just keep hitting the space bar like that, and then you're up pretty easily. Uh, there's what the water... I just wanted to show you that. <laughs> it happened on accident, but the water is instant, like, respawn. I don't think you really lose anything, but I just wanted to cut back in. All right, we'll be back when something else happens. Alright, so I've crafted an axe, and what it's done, the flint axe at least, it takes two hits per click instead of one. So that's how that works. I'm assuming the rest of the flint stuff kind of works the same way, two for one. Uh, now it wants me to do research recipes, so we're going to do that together here real quick. So if you hit tab, you have utilities, research table, so that's what we need to build next. We have enough stuff. We're going to keep everything in a line the best we can here. And let's see what we got for recipes here. So, skill shop, a furnace, inscription table. I should research recipes, it says. Well, ironically, I don't see recipes. I wonder if it means inscription table. It doesn't look like it, but we're going to do it. So, I should research recipes in the recipe table. So, this is the recipe table. Where are recipes? Maybe right here. We haven't got it unlocked yet, you think? Yeah, we may have to wait a second on that. No big deal. We're going to keep gathering resources. And we'll come back in when we have it ready. All right. So, my points I get up top there um, from, I mean, just from doing any activity, actually, look in the top left here. There you go. Just got some. I spent 200 to expand it, and I got some, looks like sand blocks. They had some sand uh, things I could harvest in them. Um, so that's how you ex can expand that. I'm still working on upgrading. It takes 200 to do now the next biome. Let's go ahead and do it to see what happens. That's 500 next. Oh, we got some green land over there. So maybe some mushrooms. Some of the stuff has regrown a little bit. So it is a bit, I mean, it is a typical clicker. I am having to gather a lot of resources right now. I'm hoping there's going to be some automation come up pretty soon. But definitely very Minecraft-ish clicker. So I think this is going to be kind of appealing to some people who are into those type of games. 
Um, there's a lot to the crafting menu. The menus would be my biggest fault, I would say, is a little bit of a confusion point there when you first learn it. It's not hard once you get going, but um, you do research off tables and... Oops, the wrong way. And then you have to have the resources to build it. Where the heck is my little platform area? Oh, there it is. Okay. So here's what I got so far. I have a furnace. So you can see you can do cooked meat, cooked fish. These gives you extra clicks. So if I cook a fish, I don't have a fish yet. I don't think I have any meat either, so I can't do that. But I did make some berry stew earlier, and it gives you extra clicks. So I've been wanting to try to get some bricks because a lot of the recipes that I've been looking at take bricks. So we're going to start doing that. There's the mashed berries I'm talking about. Plus two extra click damage for 60 seconds is how that works. Here's what the research table looks like with the spinning wheel, an anvil, and a cauldron. I haven't done a cauldron yet, but I don't have enough points saved up yet because I was expanding the land a little bit. But we got some bricks done. Pick those up. All right, we'll be back when something else happens. All right, we're back. I've been clicking a lot. I made a lot of progress. I'm on the spinning wheel here. There's some working gloves that enables the hold click which is pretty nice. I'm excited to get those. I'm going to say that's going to be a must-have almost. Then the attraction cape actually gives your pickup range times two on Dimension Net. Uh, we'll be back when we get some more going. All right, here on the research table, we have a breaker, which breaks nearby resources for meters around it. You have a collection net for fish. You have a recycler, a spreader, and a cooking pot. Some new items I thought were interesting. I wanted to show you. Mostly interested in the breaker. It does cost 1,500 to research it, which is a lot. I'm going to go ahead and do it because I have enough now. So we're going to research that. It's going to take uh, you know, a minute and a half, it looks like, and uh, we'll be back. All right, so I got the gloves that I mentioned earlier done. I'm just going to show you how fast they are. It's like super clicking. It's not even slow clicks, which is amazing. I don't have to click the button a million times. I can hold it down, and it goes very quickly. So I really like the gloves. Highly recommend that as one of your first items that you work to upgrading. Um, it is super powerful, and it makes gathering resources a lot easier to do. All right, we're back. We've been harvesting. We've been doing a lot of stuff. I did notice this totem pole's got expand biome down here, and up top it says buy new biome. So I've been saving up, putting all my points in there. We have enough now, so we're going to do it and see what happens together. Here we go. So we bought a new biome. Teleport to biome. Here we go. Ah, that must be my old area, and this is my new area. It's got grass, okay. Looks completely different. By the way, the tool system, there's some wheat. I haven't seen that before. The tool system, once you have it equipped, you can just scroll through your mouse wheel to go back and forth. And I don't know if I mentioned that yet, but it's handy. Makes everything a lot easier. We have a new totem here. We can expand, and we can return. I was say, what am I breaking here? There's a tree. Okay, let's switch to the actual axe. Double time it. All right, so there's some iron, so new biomes. Want to show you guys what that's like. All right, I think this is a great little wrap-up video. Kind of went over the basics of the prologue, um, what you can expect, what you can look forward to. If you're into clickers, upgrading this is amazing. So you don't have to click so many times. Um, there's lots of other equipment. There's a lot in this for a prologue. There's a lot to build, a lot to expand on. Um, and if this is something you're looking into, again, this is free on Steam. So make sure you check it out and add it to your wish list. And I want to give a shout out to uh, Indie Boost and the developers for sponsoring this video and hooking me up with a early access key. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to enjoy yourselves and have a great day.